already so I look a mess I know I am about to brush my teeth and first before I do anything um this is kind of my setup I have my stool here to hold my leg up while I'm brushing my teeth so that's pretty much what I kind of use to help me. I mean, on my little knee scooter. I'm gonna kind of show you guys like how annoying it is to get ready with one leg. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take these out so that she can try practice up at three point turns. Not three point turns. Well, I guess we should practice that too, but parallel parking because she's going to try for her life. I really want y'all to see what it looks like for me to try to parent, I guess with this one leg. So here it goes. Nothing. And I'm going to set this up there as I can. I'm standing up at the same. Too horrible. I mean, now that I figured this out, initially it was rough because I could feel all my blood rushing down on my foot and it was just too much. Too good of a view, really. skincare and stuff like that and I normally obviously do like my normal wash and then I'll go on for a second layer of a wash of course yeah. like female feminine stuff so my showers are pretty long sometimes most times um but now because I'm only I'm like balancing on one foot I can only do like my normal wash it's difficult to do anything else like I'm out of breath and my leg is tired my hips hurt so i don't know i know i'm getting old but <laughs> y'all try balancing on one foot while you take a full shower and let me know how that work out this did a really good job because my boot is not wet and yep i had a whole thing in there um so only like what two drops of water from the top of it from where I was sliding it down. All right, so Nage and I again, we're on our way so that Nage can try for her, um, you know, try practicing for a driver's license. Oh, just throw a hand up. All right, she can't say much while she's driving now. Mm -mm. Let her be safe. But anyhow, so we can go and do that. So that's kind of going into it. All righty. So Nija's trying to parallel park. Here's a car here. There's a car there. And she's sitting in there patiently waiting on this people on this great car to come out. But I'm about to tell her just to drive. So let's see how this goes.
so here comes the bandage is coming off the big reveal before you can even see the scar you can definitely see that the swelling is still there so it's still huge the doctor doesn't want me to walk on it at all he doesn't want me to put any pressure on my foot at all because the swelling is still significant um, the scar is obviously still going to be there, but you can still see all of the chemicals that was put on my foot to kind of make sure um, to disinfect it and things of that nature before surgery is still there. So I got good news that I can take a bath. I can't take a shower because I still can't put pressure on it. Um, and I mean, I was taking showers before, but I had to wear the boot. Um, but now I can take a bath to completely clean it and expose it, which is obviously i got new a new bandage as well and that new bandage i can take on and off myself um it's a lot easier to manage it's a lot lighter it doesn't feel as tight um and so it's really comfortable i'm really happy about the new bandage they've given me instructions um, on how to clean it and things of that nature and i just put my boot on like normal and i still can't put pressure on it but it's nice to know that i'm, I'm not so my foot isn't so tight with the bandages so now I just wait until my next follow-up appointment, which is in four weeks, to come back to see what else is going to happen next. Okay, so we're out of my next appointment. We're heading out. This time I took my best friend. Yay! And, well, and I didn't take her. Really, she took me? I took her. <laughs> <laughs> but we're out of that appointment, found out that my bandage is different. So I can definitely handle this one. Um, and I still can't do any weight bearing. I still can't drive. But um i'm healing my swelling has gone down but it's not completely like normal and so my foot still feel a little tingly and stuff like that but for the most part everything's going as planned and i thought that i was going to get the next foot done but i found out today that i won't be able to get the next foot done until this foot is completely healed so no worries as long as we getting it on the road to recovery i'm happy um, and so I'll give you guys the next update on, you know, my next appointment, January 26th.